this is one of the very few uh, apple leaves, large apple leaves that we get around this particular area and I'm busy romping around out here admiring this. I love visiting large trees and this is one of the trees that you just got to come and pay homage to when you hear these big trees. So this is called an apple leaf because uh, when you take one of its big leaves and you hold it close to your ear, or in your case my microphone, it sounds like you're biting into an apple this year. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So that's an apple leaf. It's also called a rain tree. It gets infested by a bug called a spittle bug, which sucks the sap out of the branches. But because the sap is relatively uh, unnutritious, it needs to suck a large amount of sap to get the sugars that it needs, and it exudes the excess water that it, that it has as a type of foam, which it uses to keep itself hydrated and protect itself from being preyed upon, but it starts to drip from the tree. And so in some years, not every year, you can stand underneath this tree and you can get rained on. So the rain tree, you can also use slivers of the bark as a very effective fish poison. So you can harvest this bark and cut it into strips and chuck it into a pan with some fish in it and it basically poisons the water to a point where you can harvest the fish. The poison that kills the fish does not harm humans um, as far as I know as long as we cook the fish first so you can boil the fish or fry it up and it'll get rid of the toxin and so you can use it as an effective fish poison and then there's also the fact that you can make a lot of interesting things from the wood so a very handy wood to use it doesn't splinter easily and um, while I finish that story I just want to have a look at this helicopter well not have a look at the helicopter but there's a helicopter flying over there that is the Kruger National Park's helicopter. You can see the distinctive coloration on it, the yellow and the green. And that helicopter is a very busy machine in a park that is 500 kilometers long, so 350 miles long by about 100 miles wide. That helicopter flies around pretty much every day and for any number of different reasons. So just the fact that we're seeing it around um, is not too much of a cause of concern, except that the elephant in the area, as Jamie was mentioning a little bit earlier, tend to get a bit nervous around it for whatever reason. Um, but back to the rain tree. So the wood inside here gets used to make spoons and bowls and a bunch of different things. It's got this lovely yellowy color. Oh, one of the best trees out here. A smooth bark. See this one in particular has been used as a rubbing post. You can see here, you come around here, so this discoloration, that's some bark that's been rubbed off and if you follow the discoloration up, you can see on any prominent knob, there's some more discoloration and then the telltale mud on the actual scratching post. So this was obviously for an elephant at this height and would have been used to scratch in particular behind the ears or on the neck. Very cool. Now talking about mud, Brent is waiting at